Hi friends, this is Sophie at Stuti's Cuisine. Today I'm come with a recipe that is uh, not very common, but it's a special dish with chicken and that is called Pachiala chicken. It's quite rich and it's good to have it once in a way. So I will just explain it to you as I go through it because today I got some chicken and I thought of making something different. So I thought of making Patiala chicken. So let's go and see how we make it. Again, I thank all my subscribers who have been subscribing to me. Please continue doing it and also keep sharing and cooking and spreading the word around so that people can view it and cook and let them comment about it whether I, they have something different and then I can learn from them. So let's go and see how we make it. Here I have uh, taken chicken breast and it is around one kg of chicken breast. So it's mostly boneless. Okay, so I'm going to make some yogurt in it. So probably you'll need half to three-fourths of a cup of yogurt, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of red chili powder, ginger powder, one teaspoon. If you don't have ginger powder, you can just chop around one and a half teaspoon and put, put it, okay? This is garlic powder, one teaspoon, one teaspoon of salt, and we are just going to mix it, okay? Mix it, and we are going to marinate it and keep it for at least half an hour. If you can keep it for one hour, it's very good. You can also marinate and keep it overnight in the fridge. It would be good. Okay, so if you don't have the time, you can do it ahead of time and marinate and keep it in the fridge. So we're going to keep it this way for say half an hour to one hour and I'll be back. I kept a pan on fire, switched it on and put uh, one fourth of a cup of oil. Wait for it to get a little bit hot. And I'm going to put these um, spices, that is around uh, one, one and a half inch of uh, cinnamon, one star anise. I've taken uh, four cardamoms, five cloves and around eight to ten peppercorns. I'm putting it on slow fire now, it's nice and hot. I'll just break the cinnamon. Just crushed it. Okay, that's enough. I'm going to put the star anise, cardamom, uh, peppercorns and cloves. I'm putting whole spices so that it releases its flavor naturally. I've chopped around two onions and I'm going to put it once this, this sizzles. Ah, you can get the smell of all the, like the cinnamon the star anise and the cardamom. Okay, now I'm going to put the onions. Put a teaspoon of salt. So let's saute it till it's translucent for a minute. It's on medium high. Garlic, one tablespoon. You can either put chopped, finely chopped, or you can put even uh, paste. This is one teaspoon of ginger that is finely chopped. Saute it till the raw flavor disappears. I'm putting it on low fire now because I'm going to put the dry ingredients. One teaspoon of cumin seeds, fennel powder that is half teaspoon, coriander powder two teaspoons, okay. Turmeric powder one eighth of a teaspoon, red chili powder two teaspoons. Saute it till all the raw flavor disappears. I'm going to put it on medium high because I'm standing close to it and I'm going to keep sauteing while I'm here. So we want this to be cooked, okay? The onions along with the spices we put. We need that to be nice and roasted. Just keep mixing it while, if at all, you put it on medium high, you have to keep sauteing it continuously because we don't want it to get burnt. Otherwise, you have to put it on low and mix it in between. Okay, I'm going to drop in the tomatoes. I've taken two tomatoes, medium size. The tomatoes should be well cooked and soft. 
pour in half a cup of water because we want this to be cooked well and it should be really mashed okay so we're going to put it on low fire close it and keep it for five minutes and in between you have to open and just give it a mix okay let's open it and give it a mix but i've got some dry methi i'm going to take a little bit of it what i've taken which is this i'm just going to put it inside i'm going to close it and keep it and i'll come back after say three minutes because i just opened it in between to give it a mix okay let's open it wow now you see it's well cooked and the oil is floating on the top so there is some of these this tomato is not fully mashed up that's okay most of it is mashed up just put it on high fire now taste and see but we can put salt later I'm put it on low fire now and my chicken has been marinated here for 45 minutes I'm going to put the chicken here in this if you want more gravy you can put more uh, onions it depends on how much of gravy you want you'll see how it turns out to be i think this would turn out to be just perfect mix it together just toss it around so that everything gets caught on the chicken it looks so beautiful right so nice but the ala chicken you can make it even with chicken with bones not necessary you have to make it boneless Okay, so I'm going to put it on high fire now. Saute on high fire for three to five minutes. You see that the chicken color changes. This is sort of white. Let it get cooked on low medium and close it and keep it for eight to ten minutes and I'll be back. I've kept a pan, another pan on fire here. Dropped in two tablespoons of oil while the other is cooking here I have, this is a, another pan let's switch it on and we are going to do another spice mix here so as it's getting hot put some onions okay it's getting hot I'm going to lower the heat i'm going to put these onions i have taken one fourth of an onion cut into half and separated the layers and i'm going to put it inside Saute it. Okay, I'm going to put some ginger, sliced ginger. Take it three medium sized green chilies and I'm going to put it in that. If you don't want, you can skip it. I like it a little bit hot, so that's the reason I'm putting it. Okay, so let's put it on medium low, or if you like next to it, put it on medium high. Okay, saute for around two minutes. And here is my kasturi meat I'm just going to take it in my palm and just, you know, crush it with both your palms and just put it in. If you have fresh meat I mean fenugreek. You can put that too, okay? And here I have got my cashew paste. I've taken around 12 to 15 of cashews and I've made a paste out of it and I'll be putting it inside. We will just put some salt, just half a teaspoon. Cashew paste. So this gives a nice nutty flavor. This is the richness it gives, okay? And I'm going to put one fourth cup of uh, cream. If you like it a little bit rich, you can put more. It's up to you. You can put homemade cream or you can buy the cream from out. It's as per your liking. See how thick it is? So this is what makes a difference in the patiala chicken. So this is a white masala mix. Okay. 
and we'll switch that off once it just simmers okay looks so nice isn't it you can also put capsicum if you want it's up to you you can make it more uh, presentable okay I'm switching this off and now let's go to this and see okay I'm going to leave it open and ready to put it on medium high so that I want a little of the liquid to get evaporated let me taste and see the salt and the salt just put in half a teaspoon and then we can taste again and see for the salt okay leave it for a minute or so then i'll be back okay my white masala i'm going to put it in the chicken okay and we we'll just mix it up along with the chicken see what beautiful color it has got Don't you think it is so nice and pretty it looks? Now this is the dry herbs, the mixed herbs which I put in which gives a lovely aroma and flavor to the dish. Wait, wow, what smell? Okay, let's mix that. These are my dried uh, meaty. I have dried mint, dry uh, coriander and all my dry herbs, I have my dry herbs which I collect and uh, I put it for my non-veg, whichever I feel it's back to put and it just tastes so good, look at the color, oh my god, I'm going to put it on low heat now and just very low heat and I'm going to just close it for around 5 to 8 minutes and I'll be back. Okay, I'm going to open it. Good. Wow, see all the oil has come up and it's nice and dark. You see? Lovely color. It's all done. I'm going to just dish it and I'll be back, okay? See, the gravy is looking so nice, perfect. The color is so good and it's really so tempting. So the final product of the Patiala chicken is done and you have seen how I made it step by step. Okay, and here it is. Doesn't it look so nice? It's quite easy, it's not that difficult. But it tastes awesome. It tastes so good. I'm going to taste, I tasted while I was making. Here. It's so rich and nice. You can have it with naan. You can have it with parathas. You can have it with bread. You can have it with rice. You can have it with anything. It's really patiala chicken. This is patiala chicken. You all must try it. It's really good. I tell you, it's a variety and it's very good. So my viewers, please keep sharing it. It's a variety chicken and it's really good. Thank you for watching and you all have a wonderful day.